we're going to solve a problem using partial products multiplication. In this method, multiplication is usually done from left to right. This ensures that the most important products, the largest ones, are calculated first. Each part of the calculation, that is each partial product, is written on a separate line. Then the partial products are added. This is usually very simple and has the benefit of providing practice with column addition. Let's go ahead and solve this problem, 718 times 4. We'll start with 4 times 700. We'll start with the simple problem of 4 times 7 first. 4 times 7 equals 28. Then we can add our two zeros back on, 2,800. Next, we'll multiply 4 times 10. 4 times 10 is 40. And finally, 4 times 8. 4 times 8 equals 32. Again, the benefit is we can practice column addition. So I'll separate each place value and add one place value at a time. 0 plus 0 plus 2 equals 2. 0 plus 40 plus 30 equals 70. Bring down the 800. Bring down the 2,000. And we have our answer. 2,872. Now we'll try solving one of the problems from homework. The first problem is 56 times 7. The first thing that I'm going to want to do is rewrite the problem in my grid paper. 56 times 7. And again, because this is partial products, I'm going to start with the number on the left, 50. 7 times 50 equals 350. Then 7 times 6 equals 42. They're lined up so I can just add them in the columns. 0 plus 2 is 2. 50 plus 40 is 90. Bring down the 300. And our answer is 392.